it's too blunt a statement just to say I regret working too much because there are layers and layers and layers to this. And I won't dive down, I'll dive down the one I wanted to, but we'll touch on some others because this is almost like give us a whole load of other topics to talk about. And one thing mm. he talks about there, there's, there's a massive difference between being busy and being efficient. Huge Productive. difference. Huge, huge difference between those two things. Um, and actually, there's a challenge in there of, you know, did you work too much? I'm not saying you as a generalism. Did you work too much or did you just do the wrong things while you were working? Is, is time the problem or is it something else? And where this leads me to is, you know, like you were talking about, is, is it, you know, you just make sure, I use time tradition analogies on this but are you doing your seven hours a day and making sure that's what you do and you get it done and then you focus on outside time and that is every day every day every day every day or is it bigger than that is there a bigger picture here so i i same as you joe i had a period of my life where i worked significant time significant hours and during all of that I bet there was a huge time where I probably was busy rather than productive, but I learned to become more productive. And, you know, there's again, there's all the layers to all of that. But there was a period of my life where I worked significant volumes of time because I wanted to get on. Now, I believe those things enabled me to get on and are why I have the setup in my life I have right now. And I also believe that if I didn't put in the time when I did, and again, you can go back and argue and say, well, could I have done it with 80% of what I did instead of 100% or blah, 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 blah. But if I wasn't prepared to invest the time, and I do, we talked about this before, time being a currency, and I chose to invest my time to get to a point, I don't think I would be where I am now. And without going into all the details, parts of where I am now, both from a time and a financial perspective, allow me to do things that allow me to enjoy my time in a certain way that I don't think I'd have been able to do if I hadn't have made that investment in time to get where I am, if that makes sense. So actually, is it I wish I hadn't have worked so much each day or do you need to look at it as a whole? Because what I wouldn't, if I'd have worked at the pace I was working up until I'm 65, that'd be crazy because where's the reward off the back of it? You just do it through. But if it's to lead you to pace, it's, it's like a sliding scale. So is there times when your currency of time is more in one area and you do, like you said, Joe, make sacrifices, but it's for an end result? Because I don't, I don't think you do, you have to make sacrifices at a certain point to get, and not just time to get in work, in life, in everything. everything's a choice. You only have so many hours and you choose where to spend it and something has to give. But, I think it's a, I think it's a sliding scale, and I, and I just think it's dangerous to have the blunt message of I wish I hadn't worked so much because is that you know do I wish I'd have started scaling back at thirty or forty or fifty rather than getting to sixty or genuinely did I do it and it was all for nothing and I wish I'd spent more time? There's there's so many different interpretations of that message, and I think it's different for everyone. Uh -huh.